Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another gold guide for you. I thought it might be a pretty nifty idea to make a basic gold guide for each profession, so in this video I want to cover enchanting. For this video, our main focus is going to be the Mark of the Hidden Seder neck enchant. There are a couple of reasons for this. The main reason I like making these is because they have a high sell rate. This enchant is the best for pretty much every DPS spec in the game, so it has a high demand, and the prices are increased because of it. Right now, these are selling for an average price of 7,500 gold across all US servers, which is high enough to be a sizable profit, but low enough to where they're not out of most people's price range where you would have a high expiration rate. You learn the recipe for it from completing the Absent Priestess quest, which is part of the Legion enchanting chain. Fairly deep into it, in fact. I'll have a link to it in the description if you have trouble tracking it down. And just in case any of you are new to this profession, to sell these enchants on the auction house, just apply it to a vellum to turn it into a consumable scroll. You can get these vellums from any enchanting supply vendor. So from that quest chain, you should get the rank 1 recipe, but if you get the ranks 2 and 3 recipes, it reduces the amount of materials it costs to make. At rank 1, it costs 15 chaos crystals and 12 laylight shards. Rank 2 brings it down to 12 crystals and 12 shards. And rank 3 reduces it to 12 crystals and 10 shards. To get rank 2, you need to take out the Shade of Xavius and the Dark Heart Thicket on any difficulty. And to get rank 3, you need to kill Xavius in the Emerald Nightmare. There hasn't been any confirmation if this only drops on certain difficulties, but if it follows suit with rank 2, you should be able to get it on any of them. Personally, I'm 0 for 3 for it in LFR mode, and some people have reported 20 plus kills with no drop. Preferably before you start making these, you should get rank 2 since those 3 chaos crystals are huge. Rank 3 isn't as vital since the shards aren't as big of a deal, so don't worry about that too much. Now as to how to farm these materials, I do have a few preferred methods for each one. First, I'll go over the chaos crystals. For these, my favorite method that doesn't require a ton of effort is to get them from world quests. I mentioned this briefly in my alt gold making video, but this is a great way to get a bunch of these chaos crystals on a daily basis, especially if you have multiple characters. The only downside is that for these quests to actually start giving you purple gear, you need to have your eye level in the 830-ish range, so it can take some investment. But the more conventional way of getting these is of course running Mythics, LFR, and Mythic Plus. This can be good if you do it a lot, but it's not the most efficient in terms of time spent. Another option though is to pick up some shoulder enchants. Option number one is the Boon of the Mana Finder. You get this from the Nightfallen Quartermaster Thilrissa in Shalaran and Suramar. You need Honored Reputation to buy it, and when it's applied to your shoulders, there's a chance you'll load a cache that has a chance to contain these Chaos Crystals. Option number two, and this is what I personally prefer, is the Boon of the Bloodhunter enchant from the Wardens. These are the caches that give you Bloods of Sargeras. And the reason I like these is because you can trade them in for Laylight Shards at a 3 to 1 ratio from Avenger and Dalaran. Her name is Ilnea Bloodthorn, and you can find her at coordinates 4532. She sells a variety of trade materials for these bloods, including Leylight Shards, so it's a nice way to get them. Before you spend any of them, though, one thing to keep in mind here is that it may be more efficient for you to buy something else, and then sell it on the auction house and use that gold to buy your shards. And the same goes for the shoulder enchants. It's going to vary on your server, but you may be better off using the harvester enchant from the Dreamweavers to get fish and herbs, and then flip them into shards or crystals. Personally, I don't like messing with the auction house to that degree, but you definitely can go down this route if you want to optimize things. That's all going to vary on what your server's economy is like though, so as far as how to approach that, you gotta figure that out yourself. But if you do decide to go with the Blood of Sargeras enchant, you can get it from the Warden's Quartermaster at coordinates 4874 in Asuna. And you need Revered Reputation to be able to purchase it. While we're on the subject of Bloods of Sargeras though, obviously if you see a world quest that awards them, make sure you knock them out so you can turn them into shards. Another option is to just buy Legion level blues off of the auction house. There's a lot of cheap craftables that disenchant into Laylight Shards, so this can be a good source as well. Before you buy anything though, I recommend downloading the Auctioneer add-on with the Enchantrix plugin because it'll tell you what everything disenchants to before you buy it. This way, you won't accidentally buy an item from Draenor or something and waste your gold. And obviously, check the prices on Laylight Shards to make sure you're not buying gear that's more expensive than the Shard. It can be kind of rare, but sometimes you can find people posting stuff that's much lower than the Shard value. And the same goes for purple gear with Chaos Crystals. And one last thing I wanted to mention for Leylight Shards is the Legion Rare mobs. As you know, these do drop blue items, so they can be a good one-time source for Leylight Shards. I think they're around 150 in total spread across all 5 zones. The only hitch is that they only drop a blue if it's usable by your class. So as a mage, I won't get this male belt, but I will get this cloak. So just keep an eye out for these if you're near one and you're world questing anyway, since they're free shards pretty much. But that about covers it. Like I mentioned, there are a ton of different enchants, and you can choose whichever one you like. Like I said, for me personally, I like the Seder enchant since it's a good seller and it's pretty efficient material-wise on my server. Just make sure you have at least rank 2 for whatever you choose, since that's usually the most efficient in terms of rarity and material reduction. 
Whatever you decide to go with though, I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a like if you liked it, and if you really liked it, let me know in the comments and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, good luck, and peace.